Euro Guard or American Guard? The age-old question. Some say the European style is more elegant and denigrate the American style a little by calling it the pork chop. I've got both and I prefer the American system. I mean, they're both okay, but I feel the American system allows better flow and has no real restrictions. I mean, as a board gets closer to being flat across the plane, the resistance between it and the work table grows. There's more friction. And since you need to pass your hands over the European guard to transition from the in-feet table to the out-feet table, or at least at the end of the pass, the only way to uh, pull the piece through is to press downward against the out-feet table while trying to pull the piece through, which increases the friction, and on wider boards it can prove uh, difficult to overcome these forces. Here you see me trying to use my push block, which I prefer, but you can see it's awkward at best. And the other issue with the European system is the height restrictions. I mean, once you get up over about eight quarter, you can see quite a bit of exposed cutter here. And uh, anything over 12 quarter, well, forget about it. The guard won't go higher, so you have to open it up all the way or remove it. With the American guard, you can always push from behind the stop, right, and complete a whole pass without ever having to apply any downward pressure. You do it all in one smooth pass that requires no transition. And uh, I like to use a shop made push block that you saw I tried to use on the Euro guard a little while ago, and this makes pushing boards even more ergonomic, you know, plus it's easier to apply a force to a wider board as it gets flatter. Well, there you have it, short and sweet. Just remember, whatever you do, whatever guard you prefer, use it.